Yes, our live audience on Your View, welcome to the show. I am Veronica Dan Ikboy. With me as usual are my co-hosts. Hello, ladies. Hello. Ah, <laughs> Nima, you're looking good this morning. No, seriously, seriously. Ah, no, we have this love that nobody can understand. Just leave us like that. <laughs> no, you are looking exceptionally good. Dukwa did a good job, really. Because she could call on me. She didn't do nude. But Dukwa never fooled me. It's nude. It's not nude enough. All right, how was yesterday? Ha. So we went for the Union Bank Edu 360 mm. yesterday because they said parents could come. And initially I was just moving around. I got there around to past 11. Moving around, I didn't find where parents were having their own. They were having sessions for teachers, sessions for school students. Mm. Everybody was covered. There was exhibition for schools and books and all that. But I didn't find somewhere for parents to learn something about parenting. So I went into one of the teacher training. I followed the teachers because I went with my neighbor who was a teacher. And I saw they said there were materials for the teachers at the end of it. I thought it was materials readable. But it was supposedly, it was finally when I got home, I found that it was for lesson work, I brought the color, oh. how to prepare for lesson. It's just a, like a chart for teachers. Okay. But if you know how I fought to get that thing, I was ready to swap my food. They gave me, I said, no, I don't want this food, it's that you book. You want that book? The book. I thought I would get home and read something yeah. about it. But finally, they had a parenting session. Yeah. Um, the, um, the facilitator was Mrs. Um, Yewan Day Oshodi mm. from University of Lagos, and it was really, really mind opening for yeah. me. Mm. Very, very yeah, interesting. Just, very, interesting. Very, yeah. Enlightening. Yeah. Well done, Union Bank. Well done, Tungozi. Abi. <laughs> no, but do you get angry when people call you Obi? It's just like me now. When you call me Vero, I, I find it so annoying. Uh, <laughs> uh, Veronica. Veronica. Veronica, you have to call it in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the market woman. So okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm doing amazing. Uh, my kids are having their open day today. Mm. And they begged me, say, Mommy, <laughs> last time you did not come, you said you were busy. So today you must show Please up. Today <laughs> you must come. So you and out. I have a grouse with the teachers because my three year old comes home with homework over three to four pages, writing numbers hey. one to 50, one to 60. She's just three. I think that's Which Cambridge are they planning to take her to? I think that's the age. <laughs> I think no, that's no, 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 that's not the age. I had um, um, uh, an educational background, and at that age, she should be writing 1 to 10 in numbers, numbers that she can identify, not me reminding you 1 and 4 gives you 14, 1 and 3, 13. Do you understand? Oh, wow. yeah. So 1 to 10 right now, she can identify. Anytime she sees the numbers, she knows the numbers. So I am going to discuss that with the teachers when I get there. Yeah. For the older kids, they can give them as much yeah, as they want can. because those ones are very troublesome. <laughs> they need to be engaged. But for my baby, please. Nobody mm. should stress my little Leave for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mariam? Yeah, so Hope you had a restful Tuesday. It wasn't restful, but we it was together. fulfilling. So okay. I was there, we were together. at the okay. summit together, and I took my son. He's on half the, his school is on half term. And I brought this book. My son took notes. And one of the important things that my son wrote from his session that he got there, Money isn't everything, Bang. but everything needs money. money. If you need How money, old is he? you have to work hard. It's good. My son is interested in money and makes me very happy. How old is he? How old is he? He's seven years old. Seven. He's seven, yes. And he's so interested in yeah. money. Oh, yes. So <laughs> you just watch him <laughs> and groom him along the line, definitely. You can also give him but. tasks to do yeah. why do you pay him so you know yesterday when we were leaving money my bank save. account my bank account you haven't opened my this, bank account oh. so i met him once and we had a conversation <laughs> and the kind of conversation he has for a seven year old wow. she doesn't know his, know his potentials at all wow. i think she's she's underestimating him it's an edo is edo i hear and you veronica well i had a restful tuesday and um mm. I now went, my husband came back from work and he decided, okay, let's go do some shopping for the house. Not me now. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in the process, I decided, okay, please pick this perfume for me now. I don't have perfume. Just pick for me. Okay. After we were paying, he didn't say anything at that point too. Mm -hmm. We got to the point we were paying and then he says, you didn't ask me what I'll pick, right? And I'm like, but you were there. You should have picked something. Well, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go back and pick. He said, no, he's going to wait for me at the bus, bus stop. There will be that time. 
when he will decide it is time for him to shop for himself, <laughs> and I should just leave you out. Yes, oh. you leave me out, and, and I'm forget, like, oh. you forget <laughs> them sometimes. Don't you remember him? Yeah. yeah. No, but at least he should have just said it. He should have said it, babe. You have to go and apologize. So we'll make something nice for him. And Oh, yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. Just rub his back. Let's rub his back. Well, wait. We need to thank our, our studio guests for coming, defying the odds, the weather. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Well, we have to go on a break now. When we return, we'll go to the front page reviews. Uh, just stay with us. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, I'll start with the punch. FG to limit number of children per mother. Well, that's a very interesting story. Does anybody have that? Yes. Okay, we'll come to talk about that. <laughs> now, Senate passes fourth version of electoral bill, six Buhari's assent. Luther's list, not a violation of named person's right court. Things are not right with Nigeria, says Sultan. Kaduna government relaxes curfew for residents to shop. And then we have CBN raises capital requirements for microfinance banks. Nigerians spend 2.45 trillion naira yearly to import vehicles. Oshibaju. APC protesters accuse Akere Dolu, Bindo, others of leading revolt against Oshomoli. Uh, we have Amcon releases list of debtors uh, owing 906 billion naira. My relationship with Buhari intact, says Amosun. Ogun, Alake's aide debunks Shonekon's debt rumor. Buhari's alleged lopsided security appointments split southern northern senators. Ten die as young Shogro driver rams into stationary truck. NHIS crisis reps to summon minister ES council chair. Let's start with that, uh, Senate passes. No, sorry. The FG to limit okay. number of children per mother. Yes. Per so um, we know about the ongoing... Um, uh, summit, the Nigerian Economic, Economic Summit, summit yeah. in Abuja, and the Minister for Finance, Zainab Ahmed, was there, and she was saying that, uh, you know, one of the challenges of our economic um, growth plan, recovery and growth plan, is population, and so that they are talking with like traditional leaders to see how they could work on our population, and also so one of the things we're doing, uh, looking at, is to limit the number of babies mothers can have, yeah. and already my head went pom pom pom. Mothers, <laughs> how about number of babies that fathers can have? Because a man can have 1,000 women and yeah. have two, 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 two babies mm. with these mm. women. But if you put the limit on the man, you cannot have more than yeah. that. Will now we curb it. Looking at the cultural, cultural, cultural yeah, um, implication, that, the implication the of uh, uh, issues that we have mm -hmm. and the allowances that men have as against women, the kind yeah. of things that obtain within our society. Yeah. But the other question, though, is community. how would this help curb? Poverty, because you're trying to check poverty. Of course, yeah. the number of children you have can, you know, should to be commensurate with what you can earn, what yeah, you earn, what, what you can afford. But does that really check poverty? But who yeah, has another? Yes, I yes, have. Yes, the human yeah. angle story. Yes. Yeah, so um, this accident happened um, along um, Lagos Expressway mm. yesterday. This um, commercial bus rammed into a stationary truck. Nine passengers died on the spot. One died on the way to the hospital. According yes. to an eyewitness, he complained that um, they were warning the driver that he was over speeding. And then they called, they took the number. You know, they have this place that oh, they put wow. numbers. Yeah. So they took the number and called the owners of the ve uh, vehicle while they were driving before the accident happened. So it was the driver's carelessness. Now, the truck that was stationary didn't have the caution sign to show oh. that it yeah. wasn't moving yeah. so i guess that was what happened but all right yeah, now let's so. move quickly to the nation presidency nothing to fear over kanu our campaign for buhari somewhere loses ambody 8.1 billion dollars mtn6 fair deal moses malls uh, chelsea exit 18 feared killed in delta and then the story you just took nine die in lagos about an expressway accident Used to Obasanjo, Atiku should drop or be or lose. Ex-governor, I am eminently qualified to be running mate. And then we have five billion dollar limit for presidential bid spending. Who has so the, the major headline in the nation worries me. The Northern Youth Leaders Forum yeah. advised the presidential candidate of the PDP through president, former President Obasanjo to drop his vice presidential bid. And I th I'm thinking some inconsequential youth just want to 
to uh, you know uh, stiffen the polity and you know hit the polity. Hit, hit the polity and go about so how relevant is this group what is their take shouldn't they be talking about you know the kind of leaders that they want instead of talking about ethnicity and exactly. should this have made the headline Misha, oh, sure, worry, Misha. Yeah. yeah. Worry. I mean, everybody's allowed to, everybody's allowed to. They'll tell you freedom views. of expression. Yes. So this but has led us to, you know, yes. heighten things. All right, now let's move quickly to the Daily Sun. We have Defense Council, Southeast Exclusion Splits Senators, Lawmakers Trade Tackles Over Council Membership. Presidential poll now specs campaign funding at uh, 5 billion naira, rejects manual voter accreditation. WK flags of NAFES 2018 says culture empowers humanity. The nine die in Lagos Ibada Expressway auto crash. Accept results of 2019 polls, Gowon tells uh, Buhari Atiku others. My relationship with Buhari intact by Amosun. So Who has was former doing? president, um, former head of state, Gawan, Yakubu Gawan, was at the um, was at an event and he was saying and he was uh, asking the president Buhari and um, Atiku that please, at the end of the elections, whatever results come out, they should en um, imbibe the same spirit that Jonathan had when he accepted you know mm. the results he says he was in ethiopia at the time um 2015 elections happened and every the whole of africa you know were in uh, waiting in anticipation what might happen mm. and there was so much joy all over africa when jonathan did what he did and he's hoping that mm. these two will do the same we'll when the results finally come out the major headline yes yeah. yeah. so the senate yesterday passed the rejigged electoral act amendment bill restricting election expenses to 5 billion maximum no. for presidential, presidential campaigns campaigns yeah. then governorship is to uh, 1 billion yes. and then we have the uh, senatorial uh, candidates for 250 200 million, million. Yeah. and um, I was a bit worried the money flying all over, over. my head over. is it not too much over 1 billion Another Five thing billion. is, who we check these expenses because yeah. we are saying there is, yeah, that it doesn't it exceed does, all of this like amount that. you have said. It's a law, and you know there are sanctions put in place. Mm -hmm. I also yeah. like the fact that the amendment also extended to donations. So you see, yeah. people launder their money through donations to parties during elections. But right. now it's limited. An individual can only donate not more than 10 million. These are still large sums of yes. money mm -hmm. flying around. But of course, there's a all sanction right. to it. Yeah, and carries a fine and imprisonment in case you violate these laws. Mm. Quickly now, let's move to the Guardian. We have government plans two kids per woman in proposed birth control policy. We've talked about that. Senate okays a new electoral act campaign expenses. Outrage as Buhari avoids Lagos Road flights to Seme. And then we have protests as plot seekings against Oshomali. A Muslim alleges conspiracy against Buhari. Members defect in Delta. Party chief resigns in Eboi. Government reviews curfew in Kaduna gives residents four hours to restock. FG looters list lacks a force of law. Court declares nine die in Lagos Ibana Expressway auto crash. So this is a cracker border. Mm. Yesterday was, uh, you know. Uh, opened by the Nigerian president and the president of the uh, Benin Republic. And Nigerians, all of us along our Badagri Expressway, were anticipating the president's traveling through the state, with the state of the road, mm -hmm. all the way to Seme. But you know, the, that uh, anticipation was... Perhaps he was trying to avoid traffic. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's also very security conscious yes, for him to fly. Well. Mm -hmm. But I wished he had come and his visit was unannounced. Because mm -hmm. if you see the level of corruption on that road, I traveled through, I went to an assignment to Badagri, to Oko, Okoafo, which is a community within Badagri, on Saturday. And you find at every checkpoint, particularly Agbara, mm -hmm. and before there, yeah. you find custom officers, police officers, it's like everybody's just yeah, there yeah, to make money. Yeah, the state of the road is not even helping matters. So you're being stopped by uh, custom officers to check for rights that right, they will quickly. not collect money for. I wish they, they could investigate the level of the corruption and you know, the, the degradation of the rule. All right, quickly, let's uh, go to Vanguard now. We have uh, 2019 Senate passes electoral bill for the fourth time, NHI crisis, presidency steps in as reps resolve to probe agency. Looters list, not violation of persons' rights. Major headline here, protesters rock APC secretariat in Abuja. And then we have uh, our campaign vigorously for Buhari, Sunwo, Luces, Ambody. Buhari, Talon, Commission, Semekreke, Border. 
alleged diversion of funds, why EFCC can't prosecute me or Shomali. Refuse, Lagos, orders PSP operators to commence door-to-door -door collection. I'm sure that will be interest uh, a lot of persons. At NES, so widen tax base, increase VAT compliance, IMF tells FG. So you have Lagos that PSP, PSP yeah. So yeah. now the Lagos State Government has followed the House of Assembly to order the PSP operators back into the residential yeah. areas yeah. to pick up uh, refuse, and they've also appointed the former Loma chairman yeah. as a consultant to, you know, to assist in this work. Hopefully, Lagos will be sanitized very quickly. Now, this came after the termination of yeah. Visionscapes. Yeah. Uh, by the House, not yes, the government. Yes, by the State, yes. by the state, state House, House of Assembly, Assembly yeah. yes. All right, now, that's the much we can take on the newspaper headlines. Uh, well, on Hot Topic, we discussed the 13-year-old who died after being raped by a lecturer and his son. And later on Let's Talk, we have an amazing woman who is doing pretty well in her field. You don't want to miss any part of it. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to your Thanks for staying with us. Nigerians are demanding for justice over the death of a 13-year-old Elizabeth Ochanya Ogbaje. According to reports, Ochanya had battled with a vesicle vagina fistula, that's VVF, and other health complications at uh, the Benue State University Teaching Hospital, Makodi, after being allegedly severely abused by one Andrew Ogbuja and his son. Now, the duo allegedly molested her since she was nine to age 13. What are your thoughts on this? Join the conversation on 070 8016 8014. Twitter us at TVC Connect with the hashtag YourViewTVC. Now, Nima, you need to establish this story for us. I this story on the front page in our human interest stories when it happened. And yeah. I remember taking this story. So, this little girl. Her mother had just passed. She was born out of wedlock. Her father never took part in her upbringing mm -hmm. until her mother passed. And you know, they had to pass her to the nearest fa relative. So by affinity, she ended up with her mother's distant cousin, second cousin, who is this lecturer. And immediately they got the nine-year-old girl. These two perverts, because hey. they can't be normal, got, you know, they are feeding for their whatever uh, excesses that they have secretly not seeing their excesses. And they started drugging raping, sodomizing this girl till she was 13. And every time she falls ill, they will take her to the hospital. She's been in the hospital for two months straight. They didn't, the doctors could not ascertain it. I don't know the kind of hospital. Mm. That they couldn't ascertain what was wrong with her from the get-go. So in Lagos here, you take a child to just a, a primary healthcare center and they could have discovered this. Yes. yes. But she was taken to private hospitals and they were just keeping her. She was bedridden for so long until About someone months. took yeah. notice yeah. in her. And this reverend father, uh, evangelist took notice of her and said, OK, I need to take this girl to a teaching hospital. Mm. And once they got there, by then she had become VVF, uh, become a VVF victim because she couldn't control mm. her soul. And everything was just in her system like that. Unfortunately, she was like that till she gave up the ghost this week. And reading the story, knowing how it started, knowing that the man was charged to court in Benue State and he had the audacity. To so ask free. the court to say, let's go home and mm. settle this is a family it's matter. It's I, remember seeing, I remember saying here that this is a strict offense. When you, when, when you bring a, an offense of this nature under the Child's Rights Act, it yes. is a strict offense. We do not bother with the mental uh, capacity or ability of the, of, the, of, the, of the predator here. We don't bother. Once you have sexual intercourse of a child below 18, mm. whether mm. or not you know whether that child is 18, whether the child consented, whether the child was drugged, whether the, that person is to face a life sentence. Nima. The, the, the Nima. father and, uh, father and, and son. son. Nima. My question is, is the man not married? Where was, was the wife, wife when, when all of this was, was happening? happening? That's number one. Number two, I don't even want to hear anything about life imprisonment because we know that anything can happen and they are given freedom at the end of the day. He should be castrated. <laughs> let, this me, is let me buttress, let me buttress this for you. Now, this man was charged to court. 
under whether the law or a guys or because I wonder which magistrate would release this man on yes, bail. I know it is it, the kind of bail would be this. extremely difficult to investigate this sense, matter. But he was walking around the, the really, town, okay, really yes. when the girl died. Yeah, so, very, so, yes. So that was what got to me. You have been taken, you have been arrested, and then you're able to walk the streets. How did he get that? First of all, because he asked for bail and he wa it wasn't granted to him. So what are we saying now that the police is colluding with this uh, man mm -hmm. and, give, and maybe they Just paid a police officer and then he's able to walk the streets? So the people of Benue State are enraged. The people, um, there's the old girls association of the school that she went to, Federal Government yeah. Girls um, book, I think. And, you know, they are coming out to protest. The, there's something that he said, um, the um, councillor representing the Eke Ward, he said, this act is, de is a devilish omen and, has, and that has appeared in our land of birth. We condemn it in all totality. We detest it with fierce rejection. And we call on our tribal cultural custodians to perform a cleansing rite of this. The only cleansing rite that, that place needs is that man to be locked up, the, th um, the keys thrown away, it. and you should never see the light of day. To think that this man is turns. educated, one, he's a lecturer. Yes. I mean, if you, it, it it is, Veronica, they were taking turns. Him they, and they his were taking, son. Is it possible that? Is it possible that? That's what he was, was not aware wanted. his son was doing. I don't know. No, 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 no. They worked. In, they worked together. This yes. was a clear conspiracy. So one person will buy the drugs. One person will administer. Right? They took turns. They were taking turns. So right after you're done, the son continues. Jesus. Probably one person had caught one person, and they continued to cover up for each other. That's why I wanted to to explain away the wife. So she might never find out if two people continue it to work together. And, and this girl was yeah. most of For the how time many years since she was nine? In one no. of the reports, she was no. 13. In report, they couldn't, she couldn't have known. No, you in notice. one of the reports, they said she was born a sickly child. Okay. A, yeah. So she was always sick. Almost always sick. And these people just used the opportunity, took, took, a advantage, big, took advantage of, a, of, a, yeah. of, a, of an already disadvantaged yeah. child. This girl was born sick. She was born, her uh, father didn't accept her, her paternity wasn't established, and her mom died. died. So she was a child already, life wasn't good too. I don't understand how sick in the head these people can be. All right, we have Yakub on the line calling from Dr. Moon. Welcome to yeah. the show, Yakub. Yeah, good morning, Veronica. Good morning. And then good morning, good morning to mm -hmm. all of you. Morning, and then the fine uh, guests in the studio. Uh, uh, you see, this is my own personal opinion. I think this is the type of the case that civil society organizations should make sure they take on. Mm -hmm. In order to make sure these people that perpetrate this evil got a very decisive court uh, sentence. In fact, if I have my own personal way, I should say that these people should get killed by hanging. Because this is so barbaric. How She's died be because of it. Yeah. So she has died as a result of the rape. So I think I think you're they qualified to, to say that. Yeah. Thank you and God bless you. All right, thank you, Yakub. You know, it was the, the First Lady's office also has taken this up, you okay. know, and so that is very good. That's it's good that we, our First Lady is lending her voice to causes like this. Is, yeah. Yes. Now, a, a, an association in the state is saying that they want to write a fresh pet, a petition, petition to the Commissioner of Police intimating him about the ongoing rape case, the mm -hmm. sudden demise of the victim giving rise to the change of the offense from rape to criminal conspiracy yeah, and culpable no, no. Homicide. Yeah. How do you see that working That's out? That's exactly what I just said. Yeah. Because yeah. the activities that whatever uh, actions they took on this girl led to her death. Yeah. She never recovered till she died. So they killed her. Clearly, that's, and I'm, I'm joining my voices with FIDA, that's the association yeah. that is writing this petition to the Commissioner for Police. I'm also saying this is a clear evidence uh, case. So we're not looking too far mm. for evidence. All the medical reports are there. Are there? Yes. The doctors have confirmed that the teaching hospital that she was raped. So you will say it came from a private hospital yeah. where you could question the kind of results. The expertise to, to, to help in this um, evidence in trial are also available at the teaching hospital. It should be quick yeah. because this yeah. just if it delays. Yeah. It um, the injury. Yeah. To, 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 to uh, the I, I believe girl. everybody from the beginning to the end should be investigated. The hospitals that they've been taking the girl to for treatment yes. that they could not yeah. find out this what? has been happening yes. should be looked into. The neighbors, the people in the compound, everybody who has a link to this girl should be investigated. And properly. I just wanted to end that a lot of these perpetrators live amongst us. Yeah. Sometimes we're living they're in our neighborhood, they're in our homes. Please let's keep our eyes open, open. and let's report these people. Let's let's not allow these sort of people get away with every I think child mothers should be every very child. sensitive mm. every mothers. child is your child yes. so that's I, it doesn't
doesn't concern me. Mm. I don't want to be called no sipaka and all those no, rubbish names that the foreign people have given us. In, we are communal in nature. Yes. It concerns you when you see something going wrong with someone else's speak child. Up. Speak up. Because if this evangelist hasn't gotten into it, we might never have found out. She would just have died in their hands. Mm. All right. Remember the hashtag is justice for Ochanya because this matter has to be investigated to the very last and justice needs to be done. Next, we chat with our amazing guest. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Well, thanks for staying with us. She is a printer, publisher, writer, photo enthusiast. She started her publishing career working in a family newspaper business, Punch Nigeria Limited. Also, she has served on the board of Punch since 1994 and worked in an executive capacity for eight years as executive director, business development and new projects. Welcome, Olubumi Aboderi Talabi. Thank you. Now, okay, we can call you Mrs. Incredible, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we, it's fine. <laughs> before we come to the main issue, what are your thoughts on our hot topic, right? Where a 51-year-old man and his Honestly, son... Honestly, I'm we're speechless. A I, I just sat there. I, I, could, I, 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 I was in shock. Um, I, I don't know how we've gotten to that level of um, heartlessness. Mm -hmm. And I really pray that somehow we figure out... I've thought about it a lot. Like, what can we do to generate love, compassion, and respect amongst each other? Mm -hmm. And I've decided that let, let's start with the children. Mm -hmm. You know, if we educate the kids and teach them values, human values, that maybe they'll understand that it's not right mm -hmm. to hurt one another. It's not right to think that it's okay for you to pull a girl's uh, skirt down. Mm -hmm. Because when you were talking, I also remembered the case of, you know, the, apparently that school in, Falomo. in Falomo, uh, where they have the ritual mm -hmm. that after yeah. they finish the yes. exams, they, they gang up on one girl and yes. they rape her. You know, so we have to change. There's something in our mindset that we need to help correct. Yes. You know, rape is from, not okay. Mm -hmm. Attacking women is not Okay. And we need to start quite we need early to start now. start young. Quickly. Yes. You wear so many caps. How do you get to carry all of this and still put family? And how do you get to do all of this? Look beautiful uh, while yes, doing it. Yes, how do you balance <laughs> all of this? So basically, I have to thank my support network. I have um, a very supportive family. But more than that, I, um, but in addition to that rather, I have an auntie who from a long time ago has taught me that I should always be kind to everybody and to always build my network because everybody is it's important. Mm -hmm. Your nanny, the driver, the mechanic, the organizer, everybody contributes mm. to making your, you know, to yeah, helping you easy. achieve yeah. your goal. So every single person is important. So I, I've put that into practice, long-term relationships. So if anything happens at short term, um, in, at short notice, yeah. mm. you know, by the grace of God, maybe there's somebody I can call and it would be the most unexpected person. Yes. It could be someone who was my hairdresser like mm. five years ago, but we're, we're on first name terms and I can quickly call and say, ah, please, oh, you know. And so I think that has something to do with it, maintaining your support system and okay. also having, you know, a support, what, what a good what support about, network. You know, the buffer coming from a family of, um, the kind of family that you have, powerful family, <laughs> <laughs> publishing family, and you know, how has that, you know, helped you start into this many caps that you now wear as, you know, the board of members, the truth, board of directors? Yeah, yeah, the truth of the matter is that um, my family, they, they don't suffer fools lightly. If you're not doing well, they will tell you straight. Yeah. Like even before, <laughs> even to get the job I got when I was working there, I had to interview, I had to apply. <laughs> I had to apply, wow. I had to interview, yes. and if, if, I, if I didn't measure up, you know, they, ah, they will tell you, they will really hand it to you. If, yeah. you're, if you have a faint heart, you don't go into that. Family that's that's yeah. explained yeah. explain the standard yeah. of the, and, you know, the lifespan of the paper. So, so um, I walk into a bookshop yes. to buy books for my kids because yes. I love to read and I like to, you know, encourage people around me to read. And then I don't see so much African stories, Nigerian stories. And what you're doing right now, creating stories, books that are culture cultural books that depict who we are, yes. it's commendable. It's you're filling in a need. Mm. And I would like you to, you know, we have a lot of people who are looking into 
um, going into writing, yes. yeah. what would you tell people who are aspiring to be authors like you are on how to create something that we need in our society? Well, thank you. So we have a lot of books. Uh, we have a lot of great Nigerian authors and writers, but the majority write for adults. Mm. We have a whole segment of our society, children, mm. that also desperately want good books that depict their culture, yeah. that show them, that shows that there, there is value in our own lifestyle. Mm. So my reasons for writing my books is because I love reading bedtime stories, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted more, just like you, I wanted more books that showed Nigerian culture, African culture, African characters. And there are some, but after a while we ran out. So I was like, ah, ah we can't keep talking about A is for apple, S is for snow. We should be talking about A is for Amala, you know? Apple, okay. yeah. <laughs> you know and this and is things, normal. Like, <laughs> you know, things like that. Yeah. You know, G is for begging. You know, things like that. Well, well, my sister, I so, you know, so, so we needed more of that. So I decided that, mm, let me Kuku just start writing my own because mm. you control your narrative. Mm. Yeah. For too long, we've left our narrative in the hands of mm. foreign, foreign writers. Yeah. Yes. especially for our children. They do great books. They're Sorry, lovely Jane. books. <laughs> yes, but the thing is that they are influencing them to think that, okay, winter, snow, Chris, you know, that's what we it looks like. That we don't have snow. So our own seasons, Hamatan, <laughs> rainy season, things like that. So I, in my own little way, I thought, okay, let me just try and yeah. write and show. So in my book, Diary of a Toddler, which little girls absolutely love, mm. the, the food is eba and egusi. Wow. For breakfast, they have ogi. Okay. For dinner, they have more, more you know, because, you know, hamburgers are great. <laughs> local food yeah. as well yeah. you know? and then i also noticed that they have storybooks for children that just show life just their normal life how things work mom mm. and dad going somewhere yeah, so like, use the bus, have, use the, yeah, exactly yeah. so we have the conservation center here in lekki now so i wrote a book called toby visits the conservatory mm. and it's just about a, fa uh, a lagos family's budget friendly day out ah. mm. you know so it shows that there are things you can do there are things you can do you don't, even, you don't have to spend too much money. Like over the summer holidays, you know what it's like with children. Ah, what are we going to do? And you yourself are thinking, hey, yes. holiday, what, how will I keep them entertained? Yeah. There are lots of things we can do in Lagos. So Lekki Conservation Center is just okay. one mm -hmm. example. Oh, yeah. You know, and the book okay. is about that. Yes. yes. So among the many hats that you wear, mm -hmm. you're also a member of the board of Wimbis. The executive council yeah, of okay. Wimbis, executive yes. Council. The board are my organs. Okay. <laughs> of Wimbis, and yes. you know, we know what Wimbis is. Yes, so women in management, business, and, and, public, and service. public service. Yes. And just help advocate for them, and um, net, so that they also network. Yes. So I've heard lots of testimonies about yes. Wimbis. Mm -hmm. A lot of women have talked about how it has helped them. Yes. But I've also heard a few stories uh -huh. a couple of people have said to me okay these events are really good they're helpful we'll come and we have fun and we listen to all these people talk and yet when we leave you know there's no follow-up and sometimes when we meet these people outside these events you mm -hmm. know it's sort of cold i don't know if you've heard anything about that how do we ah. try move from just having events to you know helping us even after these events that's a really good question thanks for asking that so wimbis actually runs about 19, maybe even 20 programs. Most of them are annual. And the idea is that we build up on the gains that we make at events like the conference or the annual lecture and things like that. So, you know, every community is made up of human beings. Some people are warm, some people are passionate oh, yeah, yeah. and fiery, yeah. and some people are very reserved. Some people are shy. Yeah. So don't mistake the shyness for somebody you know, being snobbish. It's because they themselves, maybe they're nervous exactly. or they don't know. Or, and then the other thing I discovered, and I was reminded of this just yesterday, is that some people are going through things. Yeah. So mm -hmm. even though you see people with makeup, nice clothes, whatever, mm -hmm. they themselves, they have their own wahala, they have their challenges that they're, they're battling with. You know. So what I want to say is this. A wise person said, when you want to do networking, don't just think of what you can get from the person you're going to meet. Also think about the thing that you, the value that you can bring to the really? table. The, the word that the person used was be the connector, you mm -hmm. yourself, be somebody that people cannot do without. Yes. So that th when they see you, they themselves will be like, ah, yes, oh, come, 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 come. Neymar, let's talk, you know, yeah. Yeah. that kind of a thing. So that's what I would encourage everybody to, you know, we have this, um, during the conference coming up next week, we have something called the networking breakfast. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that it is to help people know how to deliberately network. Mm -hmm. So we're going to train people how to practice their elevator pitch mm -hmm. so that in 30 seconds, 45 seconds or less, you can introduce yourself, say what you do and the value that you bring. Mm -hmm. The idea is make yourself memorable, yes. make yourself valuable. Mm -hmm. Impactful. Yes. <laughs> 
when we return from the break. Do stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Welcome back. We will engage our audience, pick calls, and read tweets. Now, before we went on the break, we were still talking with our guests in the studio. And uh, outside the camera, or off camera rather, I was asking a question, what's the level of acceptance or reception people have towards your book? Because we are all used to reading other stuff outside of the country. So people love it. Children in particular love Diary of a Toddler. Parents are excited. They post things on Instagram that show their kids hugging the book mm -hmm. and then they ask questions. Schools seem to like, um, well, public, uh, private schools, because the public schools haven't really taken them because the process is different. But the private schools that have seen the book, they like Toby visits the conservatory, yeah. and they say that oh, when they go and visit the conservatory, they take it along with them, and the so kids soon. afterwards, they use it to discuss. They ask about the different animals okay. and the Aww. flowers and the plants and things like that. So the reception has been good. However, people are kicking back and saying that, ah, how can 3,000? I'm like, well, that is what it costs, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, Princess, so it is, it is, it is, it costs, really? you know? So I, so I always joke and I say, well, ah, if daddy can have a 600,000 Naira wristwatch and mommy can have a 60,000 Naira weave why can't Junior have a 3,000 Naira mm -hmm. book? Mm -hmm. You know, so something that is good for their brain, you know, yeah. that doesn't rot their teeth, you know, it's an investment. Please invest yeah. the 3,000 I really do like the book. So. I really do like it because one of the reasons I don't buy Nigeria Nigerian children's book is because the print is not usually attractive. Mm. You know, kids like colors they do. and yes, good print. Yes. So usually the ones you see at the back of the bookshop, they're not so um, colorful and yeah. well mm -hmm. printed out like these mm -hmm. are. But then I have, there's this, you're going the way of, okay, let's make it relatable, Nigerian. Mm -hmm. A is for Amala. Where I come from, A is for Acha. So nice. when you now do A is for Amala, I mean, do not thinking, yeah, all right, you know, so yeah. you I know, got I'm you right. covered. Yeah, I've got you okay. covered because my next book is coming out in English, Hausa, Igbo, <laughs> and Yoruba. <laughs> your hands and it's, it's all about the importance of hand washing mm. yes. amazing i wanted to know if you have a reading club or something for these books to be read to children and i wonder if you do the correct pronunciation or you have an accent because nigerians <laughs> these days are apologetic about how we pronounce yeah. amala you know that's how we amala. say amala. 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 all right nima nima let's quickly go to the audience now now who has a question to ask or a comment all right yeah um my talk is a flashback to the initial hot topic. Hot topic. Hot topic. Yeah, hot topic. Like Nima said, we African women, we Nigerians. I remember when I was growing, you don't you don't talk to a woman anyhow or a lady. It's just a pity that we're in a perverse generation. Mm. But we don't have to live our life like let me mind my business because I'm a mother. I don't allow any any girl, when I see you on the street, hanging out at the wrong time, and I know that I know your mother. Mm -hmm. So there are times that the, our pa we parents, we send our children to do one or two, instead of them to concentrate yeah. on what you send them to do. They, they, they trick yeah. you and go somewhere else. If you're a kind of mother like that, and you come across such a child, and you know that you will not take it as a mother, the best thing as a Nigerian and as an African is to correct that child that, what are you doing? Yeah. Don't be shy to correct, mm -hmm. yeah. because you are building up tomorrow. Yeah. You don't know where your daughters are yeah. going. Yeah. 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 All right, the next person. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a question for Mrs. Olubumi. I want to know if, because um, I'm a writer also, so I want to know if um, this, because um, I, I have passions for orphanage, the motherless baby children, children with um, dyslexia, with reading disabilities. So I don't know if you have any, um, should I say, any opportunity for those kind of people. Your books, do they go across, or are they just for people with yeah, the yeah, ability to kids. read and write? To go so that's my question. That's a good question. That's a good question. So the beautiful can I answer? Yes, yes. Yes. The beautiful thing about picture books is that they have pictures. And the pictures are big, they're bright, they're clear, they're colourful. So it actually helps comprehension. So any child can look and understand, they can follow the storyline, yes. regardless of um, their capacity. Yeah, and even 
you'll be amazed. Even adults who are learning to read also find picture books very useful. Mm -hmm. So I think the answer I will say is yes, that the book has a wide application mm. for everybody in society. All right, Thank quickly, you. let's take this call. We have Simon calling from Bono State. All right, quickly, let's take this call. We have Simon. Welcome, Simon. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, um, I want to make contribution to the to what my fellow the, uh, audience said there. The, that uh, sometimes it's our parents or the women, that's the female parents that contribute to what some of the young girls do outside. Because I know of a woman that uh, a guy wanted to marry her daughter, and she knows that he's ready for marriage. Along the line, the woman was calling the guy with the name of the daughter, that the, 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 the daughter has some occasion to do that he should send some money for the daughter to buy some clothes. So in this kind of situation, I believe some women are those that encourage their daughters to go out for, for men. Mm -hmm. Because by lying with the name of your daughter, to collect something from someone that is going right. after Simon, yeah. points made. Thank you for your contribution. Yes, Emmanuel Okoli says, um, our judicial system is faulty, our health system underdeveloped, and mm -hmm. Nigerians are ridiculous. Because so, in our country, an average Nigerian will stigma will be stigma so will stigmatize a rape victim instead yeah. of supporting them for legal mm -hmm. assistance mm -hmm. or health assistance. Mm -hmm. I wanted I to put to quickly to her to know what you're doing to groom young writers and you know people who are interested in following your writing as well. Yes, actually people. I'm going to be setting up um, a workshop for people because I have a lot of requests of, from people who want to know how to write for children mm -hmm. in particular. Mm -hmm. So once um, this particular, when I finish the one or two of the current assignments that I have, yeah. the next step is to start these workshops to help people. All right, we have actually run out of time, okay. but we must say we had fun speaking with you, Olubumi Abodere Talabi. Thanks for sparing us some time to come speak with us. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you, ladies, thank you. for coming on the program, and thank you, our fabulous audience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Have a fabulous day. Bye.